ABC was held hostage by armed young people with guns during a violent section at the Malmesbury Youth Justice Center on Tuesday. Lock points a source claim personnel were left behind in release and kept hostage during the incident shadow youth justice minister. A source claimed that the personnel were left behind in evacuation and kept hostage during the incident and a young person cannot be defined by injuries. He said, shadow youth justice minister says that young people are unidentified by injuries. When other personnel were released due to violence in center due to violence. Newest part of facility was told that seven personnel were behind. Attorney General Jacqueline Symes confirmed yesterday that keys of a staff in Parliament were stolen in restlessness. And ABC realizes that they were used to unlock the areas within facility. A source said some personnel had weapons in their throats, including a sharpened vacuum cleaner stick described as from a film. Malmesbury Youth Justice Centre will close within 12 weeks. The facility has been disturbed by personnel attacks, rebellions and escapes in recent years. We will continue to see personnel attacks Community Public Sector Association met with the Minister of Youth Justice yesterday. CPSU spokesman Julie McCon said the news of the young people holding guns on their throats were worried, but they were not seen. This is not something new in the system. But historically these events have occurred before. But they seem increasing and more severe. Said. He continued these are not spontaneous attacks for the staff. Pre-deliberate. Deliberate attacks. ABC understands that some personnel were broken after the incident on Tuesday. And some will not return to work. Ms. McKeon. CPSU Nun Youth Justice Centers will progress between the shortage of personnel. An incredible concern. He said. I do not think that the new facility is dealing with the main reasons for these problems. He said. There must be a change in thinking about how we operate these centers. No inflammatory language on Tuesday evening. The Ministry of Justice and Society Security made a brief statement that described violence as a event. The staff quickly responded to solve an incident in Malmesbury Youth Justice Center. Victoria was on the field to help the police. The statement did not mention that three young people were injured and taken to hospital during restlessness. The department then described the violence as a serious event with injuries to young people. Shadow Youth Justice Minister Brad Batten said that a young man was unidentified because of his serious face injuries and called for an emergency investigation. ABC understands that youth justice personnel are asked by internal communication to avoid an inflamed language like the word pledge and instead of using expressions such as internal failures. Youth Justice Minister Enver Erdogan's office said he did not send such a directive. Malmesbury Youth Zhu. 